Important Topics of Food Safety Food safety is a global concern that covers a variety of different areas of everyday life. Regardless of why you are handling food, whether as part of your job or cooking at home, it is essential to always apply the proper food safety principles. The principles of food safety aim to prevent food from becoming contaminated and causing food poisoning. A hazard is a biological, chemical or physical agent, in, or, in condition of, food with the potential to cause an adverse health effect. Possible biological hazards are the algae, parasites, protozoa, viruses, fungi, bacteria and others. Fungi and bacteria can be either spoilage or pathogenic microorganisms. The most important pathogenic bacteria are Salmonella, Campylobacter, Listeria monocytogenes, Escherichia coli, Clostridium perfringens, and cause infection when they are ingested as a whole, or intoxication if their toxin is ingested. Viruses cause almost 90% of the epidemic non-bacterial outbreaks of gastroenteritis. And the most important virus on food is norovirus. Some examples of chemical hazards are, the cleaning agents, the food packaging, the pesticides and veterinary residues. While some possible sources of the chemical hazards are, pesticides and veterinary residues arising from agricultural production, environmental contaminants, migration from packaging and contamination during processing, which includes residues of cleaning detergents and sanitizers. Some examples of physical hazards are, broken glass or fingernails, screws, and jewelry. While some possible sources of the physical hazards are, the manual handling of food, badly designed or maintained equipment, and poorly designed or maintained buildings. But where are these hazards coming from, and how can we control them? The main sources of contamination are, personnel, airborne contamination and biofilms. The first source of contamination can be eliminated when the employees wash their hands, wear gloves and appropriate clothing and follow the operating procedures. The second source can be controlled when there is personal hygiene of the employees, when they avoid high-pressure cleaning and the air is filtered. Finally, the last source can be controlled by regular cleaning of the equipment and the application of hygienic design. But what is the hygienic design? It's a design practice which aims to make machinery, equipment and components as easily cleanable as possible avoiding dead spaces and corners where food residues can be trapped and that are inaccessible or hard to reach. However, the more sophisticated the equipment, the greater the design considerations. Hygienic design has many advantages. The microbial contamination is reduced and therefore the product has higher quality and safety. There are shorter cleaning times and less maintenance which leads to greater equipment availability. The construction parts are more easily accessible which means lower maintenance costs. The use of cleaning and sanitation agents, fresh water and energy is reduced and therefore the running costs are lower. And finally, the machinery has longer lifetime which means there is more sustainability. As already mentioned, hazard is an agent or a condition. However, Risk is the function of the probability of an adverse health effect and the severity of that effect, consequential to a hazard. In simple words, it is the likelihood of impact. Risk analysis is therefore a process consisting of three interconnected components, the risk assessment, the risk management and the risk communication. The risk assessment includes the identification and characterization of the risk, which is also the basis for the HASP. The risk management includes the decision-making step on how to deal with the risk. And the risk communication includes the exchange of information. But what does HASP mean? HASP means Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point. It is a proactive system which identifies, evaluates and controls hazards. HASP consists of seven principles. 1. Conduct a hazard analysis. 2. Determine the critical control points. Three. Establish critical limits for each hazard at each critical control point. 4. Establish a system to monitor the control of each critical control point. 5. Establish corrective actions. 6. Establish procedures for verification. And 7. Establish documentation and record keeping. These were only some of the most important topics on food safety. Of course, 
The food safety is a very broad and complex subject which needs a great deal of understanding from food industry employees.